Hello everyone, and welcome to your Monday's main event. This is a product of your Fan Requested Friday lineup. These gentlemen all advanced on until today. Sean Roden, 2016, the Mr. Olympia version, placed second there. And then you have Kevin Lavroni, rewind way back to 1994, his Olympia version. And then you have a newcomer. You have a newcomer. Nice little mix today. We have Hunter Labrada, his Chicago Pro, 2021. And Dexter the Blade Jackson, Prague Pro, 2013. Maybe not the best version of him. And to be honest with you guys, poor Dexter. I hate to disrespect him in this one because it's not his best version. And I think that one of you guys did select that just to test me to see if I did. I could see the distension in his midsection, which you can. You can see he's falling last in line in that aspect. He does appear to be drier than, say, Hunter Labrada. I would give this one to Sean Roden. Look at the size of his wheels, upper body. Upper body wise, structurally wise, him and Kevin Avroni, almost identical. Kevin Avroni, he looks fantastic here. So I think it would be a, a race between Kevin Lavroni and Sean Roden for first in this front double. And normally I would give this one to to Dexter the Blade Jackson over Hunter Labrada. But man, I don't know if I can overlook that uh, midsection. Go through the poses here. Four ways are never easy, guys. I will tell you that for sure. Kevin Lavroni again. Wow. I would give him this one over Roden. I would give him this one. Now, yes, Roden's conditioning is still better. It's still better. But this is a fun matchup. A lot of decades, differences here. Sean Roden, like I said, second place. And that leaves the last two guys, Hunter Labrada and Dexter the Blade Jackson, fighting for that third place. And to be honest, guys, Dexter, not the best version of him at all. Hate to disrespect a legend like that. Go to the side shot. And surely, Dexter the Blade Jackson can get a point in this one. Or at least not fall last in line. Well, his midsection is falling last in line. If not for that, I would give him a victory over Hunter. At least Hunter. I still might. I still might. His upper body, his wheels, better. Now, as far as the wheels are concerned, I would give Dexter maybe first, maybe second. Because Sean Roden, he's a beast. He's a beast. Upper body, Kevin Lavroni from the 1990s. Are you kidding me? He's defeating everybody here. Hunter Labrada looks solid. He looks strong here. But condition-wise, man, oh man. I think, I think I might give a gift here to Kevin Lavroni. Just because he looks so gosh darn good. I'll have to review the side chest. Go to the side tricep. Can't spend all day on these. Hunter Labrada's getting this one. I don't care if I get some criticism. You guys don't like Hunter Labrada, but hey, he's he's a battler. He's a battler. He's first, and it's plain to see that Dexter the Blade Jackson is last. Maybe least in development as far as the tricep is concerned. Well, Sean Roden has an argument for that. But it's that midsection, very drawn out in this. And I, like I said, hate to be disrespectful, but I have to call it like it is. Now, Kevin Lavroni, he could get first in this one if not for the wheels... Sean Roden, so much more peeled in that aspect that it's kind of a toss-up between Lavroni and Roden in both of the side shots because it's upper body versus lower body. And like I said, Hunter Labrada, he looks awesome in this one. You can't argue with that, guys. Let's have a look at the first of the two back shots. And here's where the criticism comes for Hunter Labrada. You guys do not like his back development. It's big. He's big. Now, condition-wise, it's a lot of decades differences here. So, if somebody's losing on conditioning, I'm not going to hold that against him. Whereas, normally, if you got soft glutes against striated glutes, you're probably going to lose the entire match. But I'm not going to do that with the main event Mondays. It's fun, guys. It's fun. Because Kevin Lavroni, actually, him and Hunter Labrada, pretty close in conditioning, to be honest with you. And I do much prefer Kevin Lavroni's back. His back's awesome. Lower lat insertions, whereas Hunter, he is missing out on that. Now, Dexter, he is the blade for a reason. Maybe the most conditioned here. Back-wise, separation in the back. Small, yes, but...
but maybe the most condition. Sean Roden, so much bigger, and like I said, he, he might be right there with Dexter in the conditioning, so I'll probably go with Dexter, or probably go with Roden, rather, with Dexter in the second place. Go to the rear double. Now this one here, same thing with conditioning. I got Hunter and Kevin Lavroni falling last in line with Lavroni. His rear lat spread is awesome, but his rear double, I was always disappointed. He'd throw that back, and his back would be diminishing in size. Doesn't look structurally as strong. So we're going to go ahead and give Hunter the victory over him. Now, Roden, Dexter. Look at Dexter's back double. It is truly a thing of beauty. Truly a thing of beauty. Not the biggest in the world, like I said, but it could be a toss-up between him and Roden in both back shots, in both back shots. Conditioning, a big issue with me for these back shots, but like I said, I'm not going to hold it against Lavroni. If he's winning on points, he's winning. Whereas normally, anyway. What a close matchup. Go to the ebbs and thigh. And this is probably the best four-way matchup that I've had so far, main event Monday, because it's so gosh darn close. I honestly, I probably have Roden. Roden winning because he is finishing off strong with a victory in the abs and thigh. Roden, he's battling his way. And Kevin Lavroni, he's fighting his way to his second place here. Looks awesome. Dexter the Blade Jackson, I expected to give him last place here, but his midsection, it kind of come together here. Pretty darn good in the abs and thigh. Is it doing enough to defeat Hunter? This one grows on me. He's hitting it to the side, and I might give him last place because of that. Otherwise, I might give him a victory over Dexter. But like I said, Dexter, I mean, come together pretty good in the abs and thigh for this, this version. Prog Pro. Go to the most muscular, finish this dandy, and I mean dandy, of a matchup off. And Kevin Lavroni, more than likely, throw that midsection in there, and yeah, he's, he's probably getting a victory. Just I, so iconic. Now, Sean Roden, I think he's getting an easy second place in this. Now, Dexter the Blade Jackson, he's, he's the X Factor. He's giving us all something that all the other gentlemen are not. He's giving us a crab position, most muscular. He's showing us those traps and what traps they are. Probably the biggest in bodybuilding history compared to the rest of the physique. I'd say almost for sure. I'd say almost for sure. So is Hunter getting last place in this one again? Is he getting ripped off? Sean Roden, if I'm giving him second, which he could get third. Dexter could get second in this one. If you prefer the crab position, heck, he could even get first. But that iconic hands clasped of Kevin Lavroni. What a matchup, guys. Now, here is your, uh, your fourth place participant. And surely it was very close. Between him and the third place guy, Hunter Labrada, guys. And with all due respect, and doing four-way, five-way matchups gets so difficult. Gets so difficult. And you take a lot of heat, a lot of criticism. I just shared a video with all of the pro show winners. And you guys, you guys gave that guy a heck. It's difficult, guys, to do a lineup. It's difficult. And of course... In third place, Dexter the Blade Jackson, he get he gets a victory over Hunter Labrada. And I think he may count his lucky stars. But let's face it, guys. Let's face it. With actual judging, no decade differences at all. Surely he would place in second, if not first, with those glutes. With those glutes. But this is main event Monday. This is for fun. In particular, when there's so many decades Differences between these uh, participants. In particular, the second place guy. Here he is. Without further ado, Kevin Lavroni. It was pretty close, I guess, between him and the first place guy. And there's no no big secret who it is. But Kevin Lavroni, uh, hey, hey. If he was around now, I think him and Mr. First Place would be a perfect matchup for each other. Throw some straw to glutes on this man. And I know, who cares about Stroyd or Gloats, but whatever. I do believe that they would, uh, they would have went down. They would have threw down for the first place. And here is first place. This is your winner, Sean Roden. I believe he won another main event Monday matchup. Did he not? Hmm? Anyway, 
I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check that out. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys, if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to the channel for all your requests, and I hope to be doing much, much more content for you guys, struggling for time, but hey, if only the day had 48 hours or what have you, I guess I'll have to not sleep, but you gotta sleep, you gotta sleep. Have a great day.